Good morning and welcome to day one of Vlulai. I am currently in Fairbanks. Check it out. There we go. Yay. Um, for anyone curious, I will tell you what hotel I'm at. It is the West, yeah, Westmark Fairbanks Hotel. Um, that's just the one that the, you know, package came with. So that's why we're here. But we are sadly leaving today, which kind of stinks, but it's time to get back to reality and it's time to get back to sleeping because, oh my God, I had probably the worst night of the sleep situation since I've been on this trip. Um, I don't sleep well and my mom snores really bad and uh, my aunt snores too a little bit but it's not that bad <sighs> but yeah I was I was up a lot last night <laughs> and I woke up and I had like three I have a spot here a spot here and a spot here so it's like I don't know I got like the Bermuda Triangle going on on my face but I think it has to do with not being home and all these different places, water and all that stuff, even though I've been using my own cleansers, you know, travel does that to your face sometimes, so yeah. But anyway, um, today I'm just finishing up packing. These are all of my things. That's good on this side. I just need to put a couple more things in this side of the bag and I am good to go. Uh, my mom and aunt currently are downstairs having breakfast because I needed a little bit more time this morning because of uh, that sleeping situation or that no sleep situation I was just telling you about. So um, I just kind of chilled and relaxed for a little while. I didn't actually go back to sleep anymore, but whatever. I can sleep tomorrow-ish. But interesting thing about the flight. So we take the red eye tonight from Fairbanks to Minneapolis and we're going to be losing a whole lot of hours so we're leaving here i think our flight leaves at like 10 5 or something like that p.m and then we get into minneapolis at like seven in the morning like minneapolis time but then i think our body clock time it'll be like 2 30 in the morning or something like that so it's gonna be a rough flight but that's okay so um but it's a direct flight so i'm excited about that and that's fine and it's gonna be like the three of us in a row so then you don't have to feel bad if you need to like go to the bathroom or something um, they usually shove me by the window because I need to go to the bathroom the least <laughs> so that works but um, I think I'm gonna work the entire time um, for the most part I mean I might watch a movie where we're flying Delta and that most of the Delta planes now have the um, like it's not an iPad but it's like you know on the back it has like a little screen you can watch a movie for free so I'll probably do that um, for a little bit, but I do want to get some work done. I am on day 27, I think, of the vlog. Um, so I only have a few more days to go, plus I have some other like regular content videos to edit and upload as well, but obviously I can't upload anything <clears throat> until tomorrow <laughs> when um, I get back home to internet. So you guys will be seeing a whole lot of content from me and I'm not sure how Vlulai is gonna go because there's gonna be way too many uploads going on on my channel, but I think I'm just gonna do like a few a day and just get it over with and then like catch up on Vlulai. I'm not sure how that, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but um, I'll get it done. I'll get it done for you guys, but Anyways, that'll all be done by the time you guys are seeing this anyways. <laughs> but um, I'm going to finish up a packing here and getting all my things in order. And then I will um, see you when things get more interesting. Oh, and um, it's like, I don't know what time, like 10 or something right now. And we don't have to be out of our hotel till 11. But then we are going to probably go adventure around town. So I will um, take you around and show you what we're doing if we do anything exciting it's supposed to rain at like two or something so we might just like go adventure and get some lunch and walk around and then maybe just come back to the hotel because we have to be back here at six um because our what is it called our shuttle leaves at six o'clock to go to the airport and i know it's like 
that's a really long time. Yeah, we understand, but the shuttles here are like really weird. They leave at really weird times. So anyway, we're on, we're on the six o'clock one. So we'll just hang out at the airport, probably grab some dinner there or something. So yeah, but I'll check in with you in a little bit. cemeteries and we're in downtown Fairbanks and we just came across this house and it's a little tiny house this is like the yellow house is like the regular house but it says whoops where do we see it right here Shiba Inu at play, Shiba Inu at play. And, Shiba and then it says on. Shiba crossing on this little house but we don't see a Doyle dog where are you Shiba come out and play but it's like this cute little like replica house or maybe it's like an original house I don't know and then one of those high houses cachet I don't know yeah cash. yeah cash that's so funny here's the wild favorite mama in her element I don't know what it is about cemeteries but she is kind of obsessed with them I'm pretty sure if we didn't have a time constraint, we'd be here for several hours. So favorite mama. Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, hi there. <laughs> hi, folks. So the people are probably going to wonder, why do you like cemeteries so well, much? Well, cemeteries are just such a, a historical place, and it's a place of reverence. You know, and I do love just, I, I have always loved going to cemeteries um, since I was little. You it, find it extremely peaceful, right? I do. It's okay. very, very peaceful for me. And even though I don't know anybody here, it's just, it's just fun to kind of look around and, you know, just think about the people that are buried here and what their lives are like. Um, we just saw uh, right over here, there's a, there's a, a cross and all of the people that are in a circle around the cross are uh, people of the of the cloth. Yeah. So, so like reverends and bishop. Yeah. So think. ministers and fathers and bishops and folks like that. So, um, but even the other ones, I found a couple of gold miners that were in here too. We found a couple of babies. One baby that was born and died on the same day. Um, but it's just fun to just kind of look around, see some, of, especially some of the the really old. Uh, plots and stuff and mm -hmm. really just think about what their lives were like you know mm -hmm. when they were living up up here and even in other parts of the country too so yeah. it's just it's very enjoyable very peaceful for me to to walk through a cemetery um, I pretty much always go to a cemetery wherever I go it's very true <laughs> I remember we went to Savannah Georgia once oh they and I the was coolest one I mean I sat on a bench for hours I'm pretty sure <laughs> because this one was like oh, there's another cemetery oh, there's another cemetery i'm like there's a lot of dead people here mom it's okay but that one <laughs> but they that, were really cool but that one was closer to the east coast so yeah. that cemetery was much older than this is yes. too 
so I mean there were folks in there that had died in the early 1800s mm -hmm. some into the 1700s and of course the way they did graves back then were just so so different mm -hmm. and some of them were actually built into a brick wall yeah um, I'm not I remember sure that. really how they did that but um, but their markings were actually in a brick wall mm -hmm. so if you're ever in Savannah Georgia and you're into cemeteries Check it out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a it's a really neat place to go in, and of course, you know it's beautiful. You know, there's, yeah. there's flowers all around, and it's just well kept, and, and uh, so it's fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna keep wandering around on the people, and she's gonna be having a grand old time. Oh, it's fun. And I'm just tagging along. So, <laughs> yeah. enjoyed the videos and let's do the live. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.